Good morning, everyone. Today I'm going to be making my famous salsa. This is the best salsa for uh, chips. Trust me, I've tried them all, and this one's the best. Back in the day, one of my girlfriends, we used to, whenever we were having like a bad day, we'd always go to, um, what was it, Camacho's and El Torito. We always had salsa. This one's better than those, and those were pretty good. Okay, so first we're going to need uh, three uh, Roma tomatoes. I actually like the Roma tomatoes better for this than the house tomatoes. I think they just have more flavor. So to get started, I always cut off the stem. I just put like a knife around it and cut it out. And then um, a quarter piece of an, a white onion, uh, some cilantro, and then this is the, um, the canned jalapeno. This is the brand I used. I love this brand. This brand's the spiciest. I like my food spicy, not too spicy, but this one's the best I've found. Some of them you get and they just don't have any flavor to them. So this is the best one. So they're like pickled jalapenos. So I just add a little small amount to, to it. And then this is um, Mexican oregano. So you just add a little amount and rub it between your fingers to break it up and then salt. And then these are the chips that I, I love. These are the best ones I've found. These are actually cheaper than the, the popular neem brown ones. And then uh, prior to, I always wash all my produce with vinegar water. So I, um, like in a bowl, I'll put equal parts of vinegar and water. And then I soaked um, the serranos. I actually put two of them in this. It'll be a little spicy. And three of the Roma tomatoes. And then I just let it come to a boil um, till the, the skin starts blistering and falling off. That's what you want. Okay, so let's get started. So, get the lid off. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna use a serrated spoon because you don't wanna add any water. The tomatoes already have water internally, so if you add any water to this, it's just going to make your salsa runny, and that's not what you want. So one, let's try to get some of the excess water out before we add it to the blender. Um, this is my Vitamix. Um, it, it was quite pricey. And I'm not even crazy about it, to be honest. This one was like about $400. And I used to have, was it the Ninja? I had it for years and I loved it, but it just started looking old. It had um, it, the plastic uh, pitcher cup and I used to put it in the dishwasher and it just started looking horrible. And then the device itself, it just started looking ancient. So I got rid of it, but I do regret it because this, this has like a lot of features. This one, you can make soup on it and other things. I just, I haven't uh, looked into that yet, but it just doesn't, they always make such a big deal about this that it works so great. But I honestly, in my opinion, I think the Ninja's better and it's half as expensive as this. Okay. So now I'm going to add, this is a quarter piece of a white onion. I'm going to add my one garlic clove. This is like a little piece of the, um, the pickled jalapeno. Um, hold on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to put the phone down for a second so I can get my oregano. So I'm just going to put like this much of the oregano. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to break it up with my hands. I don't know if you can see this through the camera. And then the salt. I've just, I've, I've made this so many times I can make it in my sleep. So I'm just going to, that should be enough salt. And then I'm not going to add the cilantro till the end because I, it just gives a better, like fragrance, like fragrant um, scent when you add it at the end and it just, I don't know, I just like it better at the very end. So I don't like to blend, oh shoot, though. I don't like to blend it in there till the end. Give me, give me a second, I got this cap messed up. Okay. 
Here we go. Okay, so for this, I'm going to pulse it because I don't want it runny. And trust me, you guys, if you guys make this, you guys are going to love it. It's, it's the perfect chip salsa. Everybody I've made it for, they, they just love it. So it's a staple in our house. Okay, here we go. Like it to look a little chunky, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it all the way. So that looks good to me. Let's see. Okay. And here you can you can see how it looks. So now, to this, I'm going to add a big of the cilantro, this amount. I'm not going to add the entire amount. I'm going to add about this amount. Okay. So, let me put my lid back on. Okay, so now I'm going to blend it a little bit more, just pulse it. should be perfect because like I said let me get this lid off it's hard to get it off when I'm holding the camera I've made this so many times I can make it in my sleep okay there we go this is delicious I wish you guys could smell it it's just perfect and then I'll just garnish it with a piece of cilantro okay so let me get my chips so I can show you the texture. Look at that. Trust me, you guys, this is amazing. This is the only uh, like chip salsa you'll need. Okay, thank you for watching. Please subscri uh, subscribe to my channel so I can continue making videos. Thank you. Have a good day.